Have you ever felt like the entire conversation around manifestation and the very concept of manifestation itself presses upon this feeling of not good enough? Like, if I can't manifest something, then I don't have the ability to manifest something and that means something about me. And then if I can't manifest the thing that I want, then I'll never be able to escape the reality that I'm currently existing inside of, which is not as good as the reality that I would be experiencing when I manifest the thing that I want. And if I can't do it, then I'll be forced to exist inside of my current reality forever. The entire conversation around manifestation without intending to, but just innocently, so innocently, feeds off of this need, this need for something different because we can't feel good enough inside of who we are now and we need something to change in order to feel better. So we just end up chasing something calling it divine, calling it creation, calling it manifestation, which is something coming from, you know, something greater than us, and then having it feed on that same cycle of, I don't feel good inside of who I am, and I need to escape who I am in order to feel differently and therefore better. What isn't talked about is that if you are successful in manifesting the thing that you want, those feelings of longing, of searching, of shame and in judgment won't necessarily go away because things can't give you peace and fulfillment and love. They can evoke them from within you only if you're allowing them to. And so this thing that you're chasing isn't necessarily gonna change anything for you. It feels like it will, but that's the misunderstanding that's driving this continuous need of longing and searching and escaping our current reality. So that begs the question, how do you manifest from a place of already feeling abundant inside of who you are? How do you let go of the attachment to the thing that you're trying to manifest and be an open, clear channel for all of the possibility to become available for you? Sitting inside of the stillness of who you are and embracing who you are now, regardless of how uncomfortable it feels to do so. The reason why we avoid doing that at all costs is because we don't wanna be faced with all of the self-loathing and all of the shame and all of the judgment that's there. At some point in time, I grew really tired with the manifestation talk. I just wanted to feel good. I just wanted to stop the longing that I had for a different life and a different version of me. I just wanted to feel fulfilled inside of who I was and I just wanted to feel at peace. And when I started to do that, when I started to sit with all of the discomfort that I felt inside of who I was, my entire life changed. My channel opened and I started to receive all of this incredible insight that couldn't come through me when I was rejecting who I was. If you're tired of chasing, if you're tired of waiting for a manifestation to come into your reality so that you can finally feel at peace, I want to invite you into an experience with me. Home is a free community that I'm developing where I'm going to be holding virtual channeled and guided monthly experiences to learn how to sit inside of the stillness of who you are and find comfort inside of you now. What if everything that you're looking to experience inside of a manifestation in the future is available to you in the present and all you have to be is willing to see if that's true? Head to my website, amandalaurenblau.com. You'll see my free community there, Home. We launch next month in May. You can put your email address in to be kept up to date on when we go live. I cannot wait to join you inside of home.